cancer, heart disease, frailty, Alzheimer's, their chance of getting those diseases went down as well, which is what you'd expect from a true longevity or what some would call an anti-aging drug. Could we actually make our bodies decades younger with just a handful of supplements? Welcome to our deep dive into the fountain of youth that science is beginning to unveil. Meet 54 years young David Sinclair, an Australian-American biologist known for his research on aging and epigenetics, and currently holds a professorship in genetics at Harvard Medical School and the co-directs at Paul F. Glenn Center for Biology of Aging Research. Sinclair has been at the forefront of anti-aging research, uncovering not just the potential to slow down aging, but to reverse it. Today, we're peeling back the curtain on groundbreaking discoveries that could redefine old age as we know it. His research offers us a glimpse into a future where age-related diseases are not an inevitability, but a choice. From the labs of Harvard to your daily routine, join us as we explore the three anti-aging supplements that could turn the tide against time itself. With insights grounded in scientific research and the potential to revolutionize how we approach our health and longevity. Thanks to one of his interview on the Dr. Gundry podcast. The first longevity supplement David Sinclair talked about was metformin. A humble diabetes medication has emerged as an unexpected hero. Traditionally prescribed to manage type 2 diabetes, metformin's reach may extend far beyond just controlling blood sugar levels. You, I know, take metformin, yes? Yes. And I don't. Um, and I maybe should uh, convince me. Come on, David. You and I are sitting around having a coffee. Uh, right. Well, you know, I, I don't want you to live a day longer than you want to, Steve. But uh, So I'm not going to try my hardest to literally convince you. But scientifically, I'll tell you what I think and why I chose to. And that is that uh, I looked at the data in... Let's start with, with animal studies. It's not always the best, but with animal studies, I was on a paper with Rafa de Carlo down at NIH, the National Institutes of Health, and we showed that metformin delays many diseases in those animals, and they, they do live uh, slightly longer. That's good, it's obviously not doing them a lot of harm. And then when I looked at the literature of other people who do, did studies on, one study was over 10,000 patients, veterans that took metformin, Others, um, now 100,000 plus patients who have taken metformin, when they look at the risk factors and the, at the, actually the incidence of diseases of aging, not just diabetes, but other diseases, cancer, heart disease, frailty, Alzheimer's, their chance of getting those diseases went down as well, which is what you'd expect from a true longevity or what some would call an anti-aging drug. It should be even more effective than those people who have been studied. Now, the other thing is uh, I'm doing a risk reward ratio always with with myself. What's the risk of not doing anything? Pretty high, right? I know what I'm going to be doing 20 years from now. It's not going to be fun. I'm 50. I'll be 70 in 20 years. And but what's the risk of taking metformin? Well, it does have side effects that can be severe, but for most people, the most you'll experience is an upset stomach, which I'm prepared to tolerate and mitigate with the benefit of potentially having a much healthier older age. Intrigued? This is just the beginning. Ongoing research aims to unravel the full extent of metformin's benefits and the mechanisms behind them. It's a thrilling time in the field of longevity science, with metformin at the forefront, challenging our perceptions of aging and what it means to live a long, healthy life. I think the implications of metformin for longevity could be profound, marking a paradigm shift in how we approach the aging process. What do you think? Leave your comment below. Stay with us as we continue to explore the cutting edge of anti-aging research, where the line between science fiction and science fact becomes increasingly blurred. 2. Resveratrol Venturing further into the realm of anti-aging, we uncover the allure of resveratrol, a compound celebrated for its presence in red wine. Yet, beyond its association with leisurely sips and toasts to health, resveratrol holds a clandestine key to unlocking the mysteries of longevity. Bear with me as we dive deeper into David Sinclair's research and viewpoint on resveratrol as a longevity supplement. So talk about your dad and tell me, tell me the effects of some of your crazy ideas on your father. Yeah, right. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> full disclosure, full disclaimer here. 
this again is not a clinical trial and it's not going to be published in a journal anytime soon. But my family are a bunch of scientists. My wife's a scientist from MIT, my father's a biochemist. And we can read scientific papers. My father, believe it or not, at age 80, is an independent individual. And he has chosen uh, to, to take my research uh, seriously and has been convinced by himself, not by me, uh, to try things because he knows what the odds are in his old age of things going wrong. By age 80, most people have at least two or three uh, major diseases that are being treated. Um, he started taking resveratrol early, uh, one of the first people in the world. Uh, this is now going back 13 years ago. And so far, so good. He takes a gram or so a day. And the reason I say, Steve, or so is we, in my family, we have powder. We just spoon it into yogurt and mix it around. It's important to dissolve it in something for it to be absorbed. We know that from human studies. And just to, to dwell on resveratrol for a little bit, um, people go back and forth on resveratrol. Uh, I can tell you in my lab, we've, we've definitely proven how it works. Uh, we have new results that I haven't published, but we, we have had a science paper that that was very positive and showed that it's working through the the sirtuin pathway that we work on. And we have new results that really nail it. You know, I don't, I very rarely say we've proved anything, but this experiment that we've done uh, has proven that it works the way we said it did. But also what's really encouraging is that there are human studies that are now showing that resveratrol does many of the things that we saw in mice many years ago, protects people from high fat, a high fat diet and reduces blood sugar levels. Uh, which is is great. You know, part of the reason that there were there were negative results, I think, in people, is that the the researchers didn't realize that you need to dissolve resveratrol into something that allows it to be absorbed. And when you do that, you get fivefold higher levels in the blood. David Sinclair points out resveratrol as a promising anti-aging supplement, primarily for its activation of sirtuin pathways, its role in mimicking the beneficial effects of caloric restriction, and exercise through hormesis and the importance of its proper consumption for maximum benefit. Three, vitamin D and K2. Through the landscape of anti-aging compounds, we arrive at a duo not often spotlighted in the mainstream longevity conversation, vitamin D and K2. Together, these vitamins form a synergistic partnership, each enhancing the other's ability to fortify our health against the wear of time. Vitamin D is recognized for its importance in bone health immune function, and cellular growth. While vitamin K2, though less discussed but equally important, is known for its role in calcium metabolism, ensuring calcium is directed to bones rather than arteries, potentially reducing the risk of vascular calcification and cardiovascular diseases. In general, the anti-aging perspective on these vitamins centers around their contribution to maintaining and enhancing physiological functions that tend to decline with age. So, adequate levels of vitamin D and K2 may support the body's ability to maintain bone density, reduce inflammation, and protect cardiovascular health, all of which are crucial for extending health span and potentially affecting lifespan positively. Here is what Professor David Sinclair had to say about vitamin D and K2. But well, let's move on. Tell me about vitamin D. Uh, as you know, I am a huge fan for vitamin D and longevity. Um, what say you? Uh, I agree. Uh, so actually, I co-developed a, a blood test that predicts your biological age, um, the best that we had until recently. And vitamin D was one of five things we measured that uh, correlated very nicely with longevity. And so I'm a big fan. I take vitamin D every day along with vitamin K2 uh, for my blood vessels. And uh, I give it to my kids too, because uh, especially in a place like Boston, uh, you can become deficient, but I also, I don't want to go anywhere near being deficient. The vitamin D receptor is very important. My wife, who I mentioned earlier, the scientist, she studied vitamin D for the skin and the health benefits of activating these receptors. Um, and it's critical for, for bone and for skin health. And so, yeah, I, I totally agree with you, Steve. You've got to keep those levels up. In our exploration into the intriguing world of anti-aging, it's clear that metformin, resveratrol, NMN, and the dynamic duo of vitamin D and K2 offer more than just a glimmer of hope in our quest for longevity. These compounds, each with its unique mechanism, 
collectively pave a path toward not just extending our years, but enriching them with health and vitality. They remind us that the fountain of youth isn't just about halting time's march, but about ensuring the quality of our journey through it. However, the true essence of longevity lies in a holistic approach. As we continue on our personal journeys toward health and longevity, let's view these discoveries not as magic bullets, but as valuable tools in our holistic health toolkit. Experiment, learn, and listen to your body, for it holds the secrets to your well-being. We invite you to dive deeper into your own exploration of longevity. Subscribe to stay updated on the latest in health and wellness, comment with your thoughts and experiences with anti-aging strategies.